guys. And here we go. Fresh out of the box, people. Game one in 20 games with Lizardmen. I am Duran. And we draw a, a seemingly fresh Skaven team as well. So this should be fun. Let's just go to their uh, statistics. Yep, they're fresh out of the box as well. Ooh, 20k petty cash. Let me um, let me think how I'm going to spend that. Oh, this is what I want here. They went with three rerolls and an apo, so they're definitely better equipped than my team, but my team costs more. So what they go with? Four gutters, two stern, one thrower, four lineman, no ogre. So we're going to have to hope our strength carries us through. Yeah, I, they're not quite big guys, but they're they're as close to a big guy without being. See, the other thing that makes a big guy a big guy is he can only have one, right? That's why he's the big guy. But you can have two mummies, so. Again, though, that's the dream build, though. Block strength, mighty block, multi block, on your. Uh, Yeah, but there's other stuff that has slow movement. Like line, uh, like longbeards only have four movement. Black orcs only get four movement. We lose the coin toss. Oh, on goblins. Well, they haven't been introduced yet, that though. In our iteration of Blood Bowl 2. So you're talking about stuff that doesn't exist yet in this universe. <laughs> in the universe of Blood Bowl 2. Okay. This is probably a good formation too. But where is Bebop and Rocksteady? There are my two line guys. Yeah, but they're coming. We know they're coming. I should try and put my dynamic duos together, eh? There we go. Look at this. Batman and Robin. Look, everybody's perfect. Wow. Can I save this? Did that save? I think it did. Well, if it's not formally announced, it doesn't exist. Like, look how long it took for Norris to come out. Everybody was starting to doubt that, too. <laughs> They're not exactly making the best decisions, right? Like, supposedly Nurgle's next. Why wouldn't it be necro Necromancy? Nec Necromancers. Because um, they share a lot of the same pieces as Undead. You'd think it'd be easier, right? But for some reason, Nurgle's next. With that whole Nurgle mechanic. It seems like a whole lot of work. If they're having trouble getting teams out. Wow, so two block pieces on the entire field, and I don't own one of them. Well, suppose it's supposed to be Nurgle. I don't know if it is. That could change, obviously, but... But every time they show the order, it's always been Norris, Undead, Nurgle, Necromancer. Every time they've officially, like, stayed, put the order out there, that's always the order. And they've never changed it or wavered from that, so... 
it's kind of the accepted order until otherwise it changed. And so far, it has been. Norse was first, Undead's next. But yeah, it wouldn't make more sense for Necromancers to be third. Because you can get them out faster. Well, we'll see when we see. We know we know with them that nothing's official till it actually comes out, right? Like even though Undead are supposedly they gave us a date. I wouldn't be surprised if we got a delay on like Monday or Tuesday saying, Oh no, nope, sorry, it's gonna be next week. <laughs> Would not surprise me at all. I think that was a mistake, wasn't it? I thought I read somewhere that that was an accident. Or that they maybe they were trolling people. Oh wow, I got a reroll on the kickoff. I didn't even notice that. I just clicked right by it. Yeah, but they did a beta, which they haven't done before either, for a new team. Well, they didn't do it for Norris, I should say. Which, you know, it's not like, well, yeah. With betas, yeah. But there's always a chance with a beta that some critical error comes up and they're like, uh-oh. Like with any game, but... Typically, no, but... Plus, I'm a pessimist, so... Alright, so where are my blocks at? Got a runner. Oh, great. Do I take this? I'm gonna reroll it. No, guess I should have taken it. Boom! SPP. Off and running. I hope it's that easy the rest of the series. He's using his apple? On a line rat? Well, that surprises me a little. Trips. Trips works. Trips will do. Yeah. Yeah, could be, yeah, put new coach, new player, who knows. You're never gonna learn unless you try. Well, no, I suppose you learn watching videos and stuff, but you're never gonna get a feel for it until you actually, like, strap in and play.
Nothing teaches somebody better than making the mistake themselves. It's the best way to learn. It's like they always say with undefeated fighters, you know. You never know what they're really going to be like till they lose one. Well, this is interesting. And nothing. Well, I don't know about getting dominated, because those games you tend to just want to forget about, right? But, um, if you see people doing stuff and they beat you, like, you can pick up little things here and there. You don't got to learn it all in one shot. That's the biggest thing, right? If you try and take all this game in and, like, like right off the hop, you're just going to frustrate yourself. you got to take it in pieces. And for any new coach, if he is a new coach, I would recommend uh, not playing Skaven. <laughs> I would recommend Orcs. Hands down. They're the best team to start. Because they're durable. They're not quite slow as dirt. You can make mistakes. They're a little forgiving. Yeah, there's a lot to learn. I'm not saying I know everything. I'm definitely not very good with these faster teams. Mind you, my high elf team is 3 0. 3 0 and 1 in uh, the Challenge League, but. So far, that may be an anomaly. Did I? No, I didn't forget anybody. Okay. Oh, he has block. And I do stupid shit like that still every now and then. Yeah, like, he must be new, because he, sh he shouldn't be posting up his gutter runners against my guys. <laughs> a recipe for disaster. I mean, yeah, I need enough, I need a pow to take him down, but I could always just take a double down. Could just choose to do it. Ooh, see? Uh, I don't like how I'm set up over there, though. So we'll hope. Alright, I'll take it. And I guess I'll have to address the ball now. This is what I'm going to have to get used to, not having strength. Can you get all the way up there? You move pretty far. Yeah. Yeah, I could blitz. I could do that too. But uh, I'm going to take my uh, double shot at him. Oh, shitty. I'm gonna knock it out, though. Since I got four skinks there. Oh, for fuck's sakes, it goes to the one guy. I know, it didn't end up bad, then. That was interesting. Did he not have one the other way? Or is he counting on him running around and picking it up, maybe? Well, he did it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try and be much more disciplined with this team, just having zero block is not something I'm a big fan of. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't do that. See that big tail? It's not just for show. It's actually beneficial. Something he could punish for the GFI. He didn't need to take it.
Wow, it's like I'm like a kid in a candy store. Look at all those gutter runners standing next to Saurus. <laughs> I have to pay attention. Do I have one? No, I don't. I have to move my movers first. Try and be a little more uh, tactical. Since I've already burned two rerolls in two turns. I don't know if that's unlucky or not. Probably not. Just not having blocks, kind of a. Uh... But we do have one guy in MVP range already. Launchpad McQuack. Correct me if I'm wrong, but he's better off taking the dodge there, isn't he? Because he's got dodge skill. It's still 83. Let's do something with you first. Nice. Oh! Doubly nice. Yep, I'm doing a 20 game series with every single team. Or every single race. Oh, wait. You mean. Oh, look at this. This is why the chat's awesome. <laughs> I'm looking at gutter runners looking for two dies. Uh, no, go for the fucking. Uh, look at the line rats. eat this one. Yeah, well, there's nothing like it out there for this game, right? Nobody takes a team and goes deep with it. I, I mean, so kanor has got a couple teams that have gone, like, over ten games, but... And just, you know... <laughs> I've got a dwarf team, I've got, like, 60, 70 games on. I love dwarfs, but... Because I'm so used to them, I'm not going to do them until probably near the end. I'm trying to mix it up. I'm not. I'm not trying not to do like uh, all single types. Like the first one was Norris, and the next one was Chaos, and then the next one was a High Elves. Or no, was it Skaven? It was Skaven, and then High Elves. Those teams are kind of similar, but I wanted to practice with High Elves, which is why I took them next, and then I went Forks for Bashy. Now I've got some lizards. Yeah, I'm gonna have to jump on the undead bandwagon when they come out as well, because, well, everybody's gonna play undead, so if you want hits or anybody to watch, you're gonna have to play undead, probably. 
But since this series has started, I'll just sprinkle in lizard games along the way. 50 games with each team? Wow, that's a lot. I figure 20 is a good representation, though. You can see how a team develops, and I try to use all the different types of pieces. So people can see. No, my Chaos team wasn't as developed as I would have liked by the end of the 20. But uh, with any series, they had some rough games. Some bad injuries. Any, any, any bad injuries will take you out of any run, right? So... But if anybody wants to just watch a single team and kind of see how they grow and develop and get a get a feel for it, right? Kind of see your options. Like it's always nice when the chat gets involved too, because the videos are always better. Because you get to bounce ideas off each other. Why did he blitz? Well, yeah, I do. I do them all in... Well, this is my only way to record and upload, is with my PlayStation, so... Alright, so... Hmm... <laughs> yeah, I didn't miss that one. You're gonna get a bunch of three dies off on this one. Well, a couple anyway. <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out though. I can light up a couple more of these gutter runners and we'll see what he's made of. There we go. God damn. I'm taking it. Damn! Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure what his plan is. Maybe he's just, um, some teams like to stall in the back for the half and then rush up. Like, High Elves are known for that, right? The thrower just kind of hangs back and then pitches it and they just kind of do it out of the field right quick. I'm not in any sort of danger yet. Another turn, though, I will be. As long as this block works out for me, I'll be fine. No, he doesn't seem to be trying to take control of the field at all. Ah. Uh. Christmas. Shitty. Red into green. That's Christmas, folks. <sighs> yeah, the line rack grabbing for the ball right out of the gates. Just that's a terrible move. And that can stunt people's learning and growth in the game as well, because <laughs> they get bad habits like that early and they work, and then later on when they start failing all the time like they should, they're like, well, what's wrong? I always did that. It's like, well, well you kind of always did it wrong. You just got lucky. <laughs> you didn't get punished.
Okay. Still got my reroll. Oh, we actually knocked down a source. I wasn't even paying attention. Here, get up, you. Is that a rat in there? It is. Good thing I noticed him. Alright. Perfect. Now, can I finesse my way? No, I can't. Uh, hello, Mr. Skink. How far can you go? Wow, that's a long ways to go. It'd be pretty sweet if you made it, though. Uh, take a couple triples first, though. <laughs> oh, you're only double, eh? Hey folks, queue up your beach boys. Oh I'm gonna have to eat it. Not terrible. Armor break would have been nice, but Again, this is the wrong piece. The gutter runner is the right one. Got punished for his reroll. Yeah, see, this was the much better one. Dodge out with him. Are we gonna get a big source interception? Yeah, so many three dies without a pow and then a one and nine block. Yep. <laughs> That's fair, right? <laughs> Roll like 12 dice, not one yellow pal. Roll two. Oh, you're going down. And the worst part is what's about to happen. Yep, yeah, that works. It worked. That was... That's the... Oh, he didn't surf me. Christmas. The sad part is, um, he may actually still score. <laughs> Just because of the big movement on those gutter runners. And my whole team being on the wrong side of the pitch. Man, he's not getting punished for these GFIs either. There's no reason to take that extra step. Alright, let's do this. There we go. Now I get a pal. Of course, it's not a gutter runner I'm going after. Even better, though. Nice. 
Nice. Try this again. All right, we got him. Hmm. I'm gonna save my reroll. <laughs> I might get an opportunity to score. Maybe he's just not aware that they don't have four agility, it's just the gutter runners. Like the way he's moved a couple of the linemen. It almost like he thinks they have four agility. You can make that pass? Holy shit. Wow, so that's like extreme, extreme range, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What do you mean they're not all for agility? What are you talking about? Oh! Wait, was that Batman? Batman doesn't kill anybody. Oh, that was Bebop. Be Bobby kill someone. Dagger stepping in. KO. I think he quit. He did. Shocker. Wow, somebody conceded on game one. Jesus. I don't think I've seen that before. Oh, look at that, though. I saw it. Launchpad McQuack. Thanks for your concede. I now have a source with block and another one ready to go. I don't care, it says agility. Block is what you're getting. I'm not going with some stupid two agility source. Ain't happening. Wow, 120, eh? We'll buy the apple. And we will buy David. Yeah, looks good. Insufficient. Oh, there's 60? Ah, oh, I thought there were 50. Damn. Yes, I passed up two agility on a source. 
I'm trying to win games. But that was game one in 20 games with Lizard Men. I am Darren. Thanks for watching.